Okay, as promised, we'll just get these textured and uh, done with. I went out and pulled in a, a stand-up target model that I had done elsewhere. So just trying to wrap a couple things up today so that we can move on and try to keep this project going. So what I've got here is a similar setup to what we did with the aprons, where uh, we're going to use an alpha mask to texture our target. So we're going to bring in this alpha mask and we get a very small star there. So let's look at that and take a look at why. So what we want to do here is we want to scale this so that the star is in the center and it looks to be the right size. Okay, so there we go. And then, you know, the other part of this then is to, um, we'll say this is hot stamped so that it has some dimension to where the art is. And so then we'll go get a bump mask for this. And you can see it's just really nicely uh, inset a little bit here. And you can change the value of that by changing, changing our multiply amount. So, you know, it's tough with games where resolution's limited. <clears throat> you know, you want a little bit of this. Sometimes you have to exaggerate a little bit to get the effect you want. Anyway. Our stand-up target, and then we'll grab this. There we go. Now we just need to do a similar thing for our drop targets. So let's take one of those, and uh, in fact, what I'll do is we'll take that same material, plastic with an image, 001. And we'll make a duplicate of that for this thing. And then, you know, really specifically, we're just targeting the flat face here. The rest is all plastic, so. Um, so we can take this, and we can switch this to a... Uh, Drop target, let's see which one actually is it. Alpha information. Yeah, that's got alpha information, and then the bump map is here. Okay, so then we can just go to our UV editing here. and unwrap this thing and our scale is goofy There it goes. Okay. So that should come up a little bit. Take a look at reference. 
That should come up even more. Okay, there we go. So our targets are in place and they're textured. And if we look at a rendered view, I think we can say that looks, you know, pretty good. So, you know, the last things we need to do as far as things that are touching the play field, um, we're going to do bumpers and then we'll move up to plastics and lighting.